What's so frustrating is you just get home from work, you're sitting down for dinner, and that phone rings. Senator Jean Shaheen addressing the increase in robocalls. Some people getting a number of them every day. Scammers using technology that's gotten ahead of regulators. Just because it says 603 as the area code doesn't mean it came from New Hampshire. It probably is coming from outside of the country. So there's no way to, to depend on the caller ID information. It's, it's essentially useless. More than just annoying, Granite Staters who do pick up an answer have lost millions. People saying that the IRS is after you and you're going to get arrested, that you owe money, the romance scam. Um, We've seen scams uh, involving lotteries. Last year, 48 billion robocalls were made in the country, 107 million in New Hampshire. Last year, 29% of all calls were scammers. This year, it's expected to reach nearly half. Senator Jean Shaheen has co-sponsored the TRACED Act to create technology to block the calls before they get to consumers and to increase penalties for those making them. It promotes the adoption of call authentication and blocking technologies, and it brings relevant federal agencies and state attorneys general together to evaluate policies and resources needed to better prosecute and deter illegal robocalls. The new technology wouldn't necessarily block the robocalls we may want in our lives, like doctor's offices confirming appointments, pharmacies calling utility companies. But the experts advise that if a call looks suspicious, don't answer it. If it's important, they'll leave a message. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.